Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is officially sponsored by Arson Hair. Hey! <laughs> so, <laughs> as you can tell, I am hella excited for this one. It is a 100% human haired lace front unit, and girl, I'm shook. So, if you want to see how I went ahead and customized it, then just keep on watching. Perfect. Alright guys, so this is what the unit is looking like that Arison Hair sent me. She is about 18 inches, 100%, 120% density, and as you can tell, a naturally curly unit. The hairline comes pre-plucked with baby hairs, and honestly, the density of that hairline is so, so nice. Inside the cap construction, you can see all the parting space you get, and it comes with four combs, three in the front and one in the back, along with adjustable straps. And here is a closer look at that hairline, and y'all... I'm definitely impressed with how this looks. The only thing I really wanted to do on this unit and change was to hide some of those knots and as you can see right here they are pretty visible so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do today to customize this unit so first things first of course you're gonna need a mixing bowl along with a brush and then I tried a different brand of bleaching powder I used ion color brilliance and it's supposed to be conditioning it has coconut oil and also I use the corresponding developer here I'm using a uh, a 30 volume developer for that so I went ahead and mixed that up I was very very careful not to have the mixture too runny because if you have the mixture too runny you are gonna have it seep through and possibly dye the hair as well and you don't want any of that you only want to hide those knots so when you go ahead and apply this on the unit just make sure not to press down too roughly on the lace because it's gonna be it's gonna be bad girl <laughs> um, so I went ahead and applied that all over the hairline and I let that sit for about I want to say 10 minutes I covered it with tin foil and then I took a look at it and it was ready to wash out so when I washed the bleach out I went ahead and used the keratin oil shampoo and conditioner let me just tell you this made the unit smell so bomb you guys have to try this if you haven't already so this is what the unit is looking like nice and washed out fresh she looking good and the curls honey they already were forming very very nicely this is with no product at all and you could tell the hairline looks very very good i did get a tiny bit of bleach onto um, the hair when I was bleaching the knots, so just be careful with that. So here I'm using the Twist Me Curling Putty. Honestly, I'm not a hundred percent like living for this product, but it was what I had. And then I'm taking my Silk Elements Foam Wrapping Lotion just to kind of lay any flyaways down and keep that part nice and flat so that when I put the wig on it looks a lot more natural and then also it helps hold the curls nice and softly with no crunch or anything else like that you still get a lot of volume once you use it and then here I'm using my diffuser and just gently drying the unit I didn't want to disturb the curls too much while I was drying it so that's why I went ahead and put that diffuser onto my blow dryer and as you can see right here this is what the curls are looking like very nice and you can see this unit has a lot of volume um, so if you like big hair you can definitely achieve that with this look by picking it out adding some teasing to the roots and getting it really big or if you want it subtle more natural you could just leave it as is air dried and this is what she's looking like so for installing this unit i was initially going to do the bald cap method just because you know we wanted that extra slayage but i was like hmm what about a basic 
new wig wearer. So we just went ahead and put the wig cap on, applied a little bit of got to be lewd spray, and then added some makeup onto the wig cap as well just to blend it in a little bit more with my skin tone so that way when I put the wig on, the wig cap could show through and it would simulate my scalp. And then here I'm just adjusting the combs on each side, fitting it so that way it doesn't slide back. And then I'm just also seeing where I want the wig to sit on my head as well. So I'm going to take some of my Got To Be Glued Ultra Gel and apply a thin layer around my hairline. And I just want to give you guys a little bit of advice. Make sure you have no makeup on. Your girl was trying to be cute for a YouTube video, but I'm going to just tell you right now, it gets messy. So at least use 100% rubbing alcohol to wipe any makeup off of your hairline. So that way when you're putting it on, it goes on very nicely and seamlessly and doesn't get all messy and sticky with makeup and glue. <laughs> and here I'm just cutting the lace off and now we're going to go ahead and get to styling baby hairs. This unit, like I said, already has pre-styled baby hairs on here. So it is pretty easy to customize and all I did was go ahead and section them out and then started cutting them down and styling them again with my Got To Be Glued Gel. Then after I got my baby hairs to how I liked them, I went ahead I went ahead and tied them up and let it sit for about 15 minutes just to make sure everything was secured. And then once that was done, I went ahead and grabbed a little bit more of my infallible matte uh, foundation and just went ahead and added that to the parting space just to make it look more natural. And then I flattened the part as well so that it wasn't as bulky and it looked more like it was a natural scalp by using my curling wand. And then here to revamp some of the curls, I am spraying the unit down again with some water just to get those curls nice and texturized. And then I'm using this hair gloss as well to give a nice shine to the unit. And let me tell you, this product smells so, so good. But yeah, that's all I did to go ahead and customize this unit. For today's video all of the information on this unit will be linked down in the description box below so be sure to check it out I do want to mention a couple things about this unit one I have not experienced any tangling so I am very I I'm so fucking relieved about that I don't know if it's just because it's a human haired wig or if it's because the quality is just that bomb but I have not experienced any tangling at all I've had this unit on now for about four hours and Bitch, it still looks bomb as fuck. You cannot tell me that this is not my hair because your girl is snapped. Like, seriously. So, I am definitely declaring this my birthday wig because your girl is filling herself. And I know I say that in a lot of these videos, but honey, it literally just looks so, so natural. And I was a little bit nervous about customizing this and um, bleaching the knots and plucking a little bit of the hairline and stuff like that, but Artisan Hair honestly made it easy. The pre-made baby hairs, the pre-plucked hairline, I mean, it looks very, very good. I think this is a perfect wig for beginners because me, for myself, as a human haired lace front, I'm a beginner. I had no idea what to do like how to start um so this definitely is a good beginning wig they honestly made it very easy to look natural and slay i didn't have to do any plucking i literally just took the some of the baby hairs brushed them down glued it on secured it and your girl is looking hella good so again shout out to artisan hair all their information will be linked down below Thanks again for watching guys and as always if you liked this video don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.